Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to another Minecraft discussion today. My name is Kimberly Quinn and it is gorgeous out here. Wow, the wind died down a little bit so I think we'll be okay. Okay, so today what I really like to talk about because it was just like in my head is uh, deleting those shadow beliefs because remember we talked about the unconscious drives the bus like 96% of what we say and do every day is coming from the vault, which we can't even access. Think about it, it's a little scary. Okay, so seed beliefs, I'm kind of naming these myself, to be honest with you. Seed beliefs, you can call them what you want, but they're those, also when you're unconscious, I guess they can come to conscious because I'm consciousness because I'm saying them, um, though most of my life they weren't. There's certain things you just know. These are positive, at least for me. The seed beliefs are, for example, I knew, even as a kid, I didn't have words for it probably, but I, I knew that no matter what I set my mind to, I could accomplish. Like I just knew that. It might, I might be going through a lot of mud, asking for support, whatever, but if I just, and I'm not talking about just accomplishments and achievements. Um, you know, many of you know the backstory. I, I, you know, I knew that I, I, I'd, I'd find a place to be for that night, for example, too. It, was, it wasn't always accomplishment related. It's, I know, whereas of right now I have no plan, it's going to be dark soon and I got to find a, a, a friend to stay with. Like I knew that would be okay. And so that was actually my second part, which is I knew no matter what I put my mind to, I could accomplish, which included, um, you know, getting into college and all that, all that kind of thing too. And I knew that I'd be happy. Here's the other thing is I knew, instinctively knew things would always be okay. Even if in the midst of it, it was like a like being like in the eye of a hurricane or something when it was like at its worst I, something in me even though it was there was there were moments of sadness and fear and all those nat and shame lots of shame going on somehow i just knew that things would be okay so those are seed beliefs those are like planted in your hard drive and those are for me those are the positive ones you also on a less deep level you might also just have a seed belief that um, you're naturally athletic, you because you are. You just know you are. No matter what anybody could possibly say, again, you just say, "Well, I'm, I'm naturally athletic." You might know you have a fast metabolism because it's just true, okay? And you might know you're inherently um, very intelligent. You know, smarter than the rest of the population. You might know that. I don't mean in a braggy way. You were just dealt a good card, or you're Michael Phelps. You know instinctively that you are a really, really, really good swimmer. So whatever like that, but but it's something that it's planted in there and it can't really be disputed. You just know that with all of your whole being. Okay, now shadow beliefs are also in the vault, okay? But they're negative. This is how I'm labeling them. Shadow, hence darker, you know. Shadow beliefs are, are, are what really, really throws a gigantic wrench in the cogwheel or the bicycle, I think of bicycle spokes, because, and those are the negative things that get into the vault that we don't even know sometimes why we're doing what we're doing. And, you know, we've, we've talked a bunch about the codependent behaviors, which are very common, by the way, uh, when, when people are, are rescuing and people pleasing. And, you know, that's because there are lots of shadow beliefs in the in the unconscious mind that really need to ride to this rise to the surface so we can you know boot to kick them out of there and do a reboot so so an example of seed beliefs are the gamut of ways we can believe we're not enough we're not tall enough thin enough smart enough wealthy enough um you know we don't have enough potential we're not we're not a good enough singer not a good enough actor not a good enough our work ethic isn't good enough it, you know, I forget if I said intelligent enough, athletic enough, creative enough, all that stuff. Those are all shadow beliefs that have probably come from, you know, way, 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 way back, back then. And then remember that we do this thing called confirmation bias, which is also the phrase out in the world is often used for, you know, like who we vote for and all that. And all that's true. That's definitely true. So confirmation bias, remember, is when we actively seek out that which we already hold to be true okay that's the first part it has two parts to confirmation bias and most often the second part is left out so we seek we, we seek out that which we um already believe to be true so if that's in the case of you know in the head we're talking about our own personal well-being if we if, if our we have a c belief that we're not um we're not thin enough we're gonna we are going to we're gonna seek out without even knowing we're doing it 
negative comments about ourselves or looks from people or look, let's say perceiving that we're seeing people look at us a certain way. Um, having our mind constantly on diets, which then has us in constantly in a state of deprivation and scarcity thinking. Okay, another example um, would be if uh, we're not we're just uh, we're not worthy enough. Okay, and that lands us into bad relationships, rom definitely rom romantic relationships. We then seek that out to be true at work. We have a good idea for a project, but we're but we're un in this in the shadow belief is saying you're not good enough to come up with the the team project. Come on, there's six other people on this team. They're all going to be smarter than you, and it's not going to be you. And we we actually seek out, and this is so we attract all this, you know, all this behavior from the external in based on what these shadow beliefs are. So no matter what it is for you, so here's the thing: they've got to go. They've got to go because 96% of what we say and do each and every day is coming from the vault. So we got the C beliefs, which is a good thing, and then we've got these shadow beliefs. And the only way to 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 change your life is to do a reboot and it takes it, it is a heavy lift because the unconscious it's just kind of a it, it's not it's not the thinking part of the brain okay it's just kind of on autopilot this is what it knows it's like running the same tape over and over and over so a new information comes in from a new friend new colleague new partner that's that's saying the opposite about that okay and here's the thing the second part of confirmation bias um, in addition to seeking out what we already believe to be true is ignoring evidence to the contrary. So a new partner comes in and says, hey, you're gorgeous. God, you're beautiful. I love your body. Let's say so it's a it's so that you're like, wait, whoa, whoa. So so the unconscious is like, wait, I, wait, I thought we were chubby. What do you mean? And so it's just like kind of a, I think it was Bruce Lipton who said that. It's kind of like when you punch something new into your cell phone and it doesn't have any memory of it. So it's, it kicks back some weird spell check, you know. In fact, I said once to my daughter, this will give you a visual. I said, boy, you've got your ducks in a row. And it spell checked it and put an I in place of the U. So she cracked up. But that's that's what it does. That's what it does. We've got to, the brain loves patterns and loves repetitions. We've got to override that old programming over and over and over again. So we have to bring it to the surface, catch ourselves, catch ourselves, even if we're uncomfortable. Okay, breathe in. Somebody just said I'm beautiful and I didn't feel beautiful. Somebody just said I was smart and I didn't feel smart. Somebody just said, wow, you got an incredible work ethic. Wow, I was always told I was lazy as a kid. To catch it and then talk back to it over and over and over and over and over again. Because here's the thing, the positive affirmations are a start. They're definitely a start that's huge because we are, we are what we think as far as the thoughts we choose to keep, definitely. Here's the thing though, the, the life changes aren't going to happen until the belief system is changed. So the thoughts lead to the belief system. Okay, the thoughts are kind of here, and the belief system is like, is deep, that's the vault. It needs to be reprogrammed. So, so it would be a good idea to start really paying attention to acknowledge when you're having that internal loop. What are my shadow beliefs? Because this is coming from the vault. How you pay attention to how you feel because that will tell you what your beliefs are. You get yourself into certain situations and you're feeling that shame kick up, stay with that because that shame kicking up is coming from somewhere. And, and then think about where it's coming so you can talk back to it, okay? So see beliefs, know your good stuff. Shadow beliefs, got to figure out what those are so you can reprogram those bad little dark squigglies. Okay, I'm thinking of the movie Ghost, you go into the ground. Like their shadow beliefs are dark squigglies and you've got to clean out the brain attic and get rid of the dark squigglies. Okay, sea beliefs versus shadow beliefs. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from this gorgeous sunny day in northern Vermont. Have a mindful day.